second largest. Second After large. the Chittorgarh fort, this is the second largest fort. So this is more than thousand years, thousand years old. So who built up this fort and who was the real founder of this fort? This matter always be controversial in the history. But any Chauhan Rajput rulers, they had started to build to that fort. So till the 13th century, that fort ruled by the Chauhan community, Chauhan Rajput families. After the Chauhan, the Mughals entered here from the Delhi. So they won to this fort. So Alauddin Khilji, he was the first winner of this fort. But they didn't live here long time. After the Mughals, the another another communities they came here, they ruled to this fort. After the Mughals, the Marathas came here from the Delhi, from the Maharashtra, sorry. After the Marathas, the British is also they came here sometime. In last time, around 18th century, that fort undergoes to the Jaipur royal family. So that time we were also the part of the Jaipur kingdom and that forest was the hunting ground of the Jaipur royal family. So somewhere, somewhere we can see the old structure like a hunting palace or like that. They built by the Jaipur royal family. Sir, excuse me. Yes. They can they, they could stop sir that time because if you go to the height then you can see the halls or everywhere. It's yeah. a very protective and defensive fort. But they, they stopped here very long time. Okay. So, long time so, so that's why they need to fort with them. Only single soldier it can stop if we go to the height or if you see to the down then single soldier can stop to the more than 100 soldiers from the down. So that, yeah. that's why that's a very defensive and a very protective fort of that time because this fort has all three categories of the fort. That, that time when the uh, rulers and the royal families when they want to build to the fort so that time there was the three categories of the fort. The first was the mountain fort like this type fort completely built on the cliffs on the height. Number second, that was the forest fort, like completely covered by the dense forest, not easy approachable. And number third fort, that was the water fort, completely covered by the deep ditches, surrounded the fort. Okay. But Ranthambore fort, one and only fort, it has all three categories. Right, makes sense. Yes. So, we are just crossing in the valley, we are going on the valley part, so one side, one another mountain is there and the fort built on one mountain and that side. So earlier time that area used by the protection and they stop the natural rainwater. So not this easy. is a step well. And this here this is a step well that was the part of the Ranthambore fort. But after renovated by the archaeological or forest department. So some many times the wildlife animals they comes here to drink to the water. So if we were invading that fort, attacking it, it would be better to have your guns up there than shoot across yeah, into they, it. So <laughs> when the Mughals came here, so that time, first time, they brought the cannon or guns. Yeah. So no, no cannons. Yeah. Guns, yeah, cannon. cannon. Yeah. 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 So that's why if you go to the fort up there, then they build the very thick wall, very very thin wall to stop to stop the gunfire or the cannon fire from okay. from that area right. they were targeting to the king palace yes. Hamir palace so they built that very thick wall there yeah. you can yeah. see there Interesting. yes if you see from the anywhere from the top or from this side, so not easy approachable to climb to yes. the fort. Yeah, it's, it's too a, hard. Just, just straight cliffs are there. So now the all covers an area of Ranthambo National Park around 1700 square kilometers. All covers an area. But according to the Wildlife Act or according to the NTCA, we are allowed to move 
we are allowed to do the safaris in only 20 to 25 percent area so only the 400 square kilometer area open for us where we can go for the safaris and that part divided one to ten zones each zone has a separate or particular entrance but they all are interconnected inside the first area. then we can say the zone limit only for us not for the wildlife the tiger they are completely solitary and territorial animals so the tigers make the territory by themselves so many tigers they have the territory in different different zones we can say in easy language they cover two three zones some tigers like a male dominant tiger it can cover two three zone area not the all three zones area but the small small part of the zone so include the tiger we have six different kind of cat family animals they are reported from our reserve so in six there are three big cats or three small cats are there the first big cat tiger is here number second big cat leopard and number third big cat is a caracal number fourth cat is a small cat that name is jungle cat or wild cat and fifth number is a rusty spotted cat and the last number cat is a desert cat yes so actually two rivers they bend to the our forest area chambal river or banas river so usually they have the habitat near the river banks the desert cat and two type of scavenger they are also here we, we can see some time du during the safari but they both are nocturnal so usually they become active at the night time indian golden jackal striped hyena we can see here some time and a very common species of deer that we will see everywhere is spotted deer samba deer yes easily we can find two those take two go for deer Three hundred fifty species of birds we can see in Randhambore, included migratory bird, winter visitor, summer visitor. We can see here different different times. 